Step 9. Checking High Frequency Leakage Current This test is performed in debug mode as shown in the previous section, testing ligature output. Monopolar High Frequency Leakage Current Connect the red test lead to the left output of the monopolar 1 port on the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the red test lead to the variable high port of the QAES3. Connect the black test lead to the chassis ground lug on the rear of the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the black test lead to the variable low port of the QAES3. On the force triad, choose Mono Cut. For port selection, choose Mono 1 port. Choose Level 300. On the QAES3, press F1 for generator output. Select a 200 ohm load. Press F4 for start continuous. On the force triad, press Start RF. Record the leakage current, and then press Stop RF. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. In accordance with the IEC 601-2-2, Figure 104, leakage current should not exceed 100 mA for any mode. Repeat these steps for Monopolar 2 and UFP. Disconnect all the leads and press the back button on the QAES3. Bipolar High Frequency Leakage Current This test is performed in debug mode as shown in the Testing Ligature Output section. Connect the red test lead to the left output of the bipolar port on the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the red test lead to the variable high port of the QAES3. Connect the black test lead to the chassis ground lug on the rear of the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the black test lead to the variable low port on the QAES3. On the force triad, choose Bipolar Standard. For port selection, choose Bipolar. Choose level 95. On the QAES3, press F1 for generator output. Select a 200 ohm load. Press F4 for start continuous. On the force triad, press Start RF. Record the leakage current, and then press Stop RF. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Leakage current should not exceed 69 milliamps for any mode if using either the leakage table IEC 601-2-2 or short lead configuration. Repeat these steps for the right output of the bipolar output. Last, disconnect all connections and press the back button on the QAES3. Ligature High Frequency Leakage Current This test is performed in debug mode as shown in the Testing Ligature Output section. Connect the special Ligature Red Test Lead to the left output of the Ligature 1 port on the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the special Red Ligature Test Lead to the variable high port on the QAES3. Connect the black test lead to the chassis ground lug on the rear of the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the black test lead to the variable low port on the QAES3. On the force triad, choose Ligature Test. For port selection, choose Ligature 1 port. Choose level 5.5. On the QAES3, press F1 for generator output. Select a 200 ohm load. Press F4 for start continuous. On the force triad, press Start RF. Record the leakage current, then press Stop RF. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. If using the leakage table in accordance with IEC 601-2-2, Leakage current should not exceed 130 milliamps for any mode. Repeat these steps for the right output of the Ligature 1 port. Then, repeat these steps for the Ligature 2 port. Disconnect all leads 
and press the back button on the QAES-3. Patient High Frequency Leakage Current This test is performed in debug mode as shown in the Testing Ligature Output section. Connect the ESU Dispersive Safety Lead to the REM port on the Force Triad and then connect the black banana to the variable high port on the QAES-3. Connect the black test lead to the chassis ground lug on the rear of the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the black test lead to the variable low port on the QAES-3. On the force triad, choose Mono Cut. For port selection, choose Mono 2. Choose Level 300. On the QAES-3, press F1 for generator output. Select a 200 ohm load. Press F4 for start continuous. On the force triad, press Start RF. Record the leakage current, then press Stop RF. Press F3 on the QAES-3 to stop the test. If using the leakage table in accordance with IEC 601-2-2, Leakage current should not exceed 100 milliamps for any mode. Repeat these steps for mono blend, mono VL mode, mono fulgurate, and mono spray. Disconnect all leads and then press the back button on the QAES-3.